October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The CDC says roughly one in eight U.S. women will be diagnosed with breast cancer during her life, and many women will not be able to afford reconstructive surgery. A San Francisco plastic, plastic surgeon is taking part in a groundbreaking new study designed to help cancer survivors feel whole again with a little help from an unusual source. When somebody dies, if they donate their body to science, if they donate their organs, we might use their skin for, you know, skin graft surgery with burns. We might use their corneas for corneal transplants or their bones or their tendons. And nobody has ever harvested nipples and areolas before. So it's so exciting. Dr. Karen Horton has been in the business of breast cancer reconstruction for well over a decade. The traditional techniques involve either a three-dimensional tattoo or folding the skin on top of itself to try to recreate the nipple. Now she's one of a handful of doctors in the country studying whether they can reconstruct a breast using nipples that once belonged to another woman. The nipple areola complex graft or NAC graft is different. It's a female nipple and areola. They process it so all of the DNA is removed and all the cells are removed. So there's no chance of rejection because there's no other immune system cells from another person. It's not an animal product. It's not made in a lab. And the more time a woman spends with her new nipple, the more her body will adapt. Over time, Dr. Horton says blood vessels and nerves will grow into the graft, meaning the patient's natural color could return and even feeling. Even though it's, it was not the original nipple, it's possible that some of the connections between the nipple, if it is an important erogenous zone for women, and the brain could still be there. Studies have shown breast reconstruction is a critical part of a woman's journey in overcoming breast cancer. It can help them physically, emotionally, and psychologically. But this newest study promises to enter uncharted territory. Do you think there are any women who are going to be reluctant just because it's coming from a cadaver? Of course, anytime there's something new on the market, there are going to be skeptics. There's going to be people that are hesitant to be first in line. I totally can relate when there's a new plastic surgery machine out there. I'm not the first in line to purchase it. But um, I have been in practice for 16 and a half years. And I think that this is the best option that we can currently offer to women. Dr. Horton is offering women a chance to take part in this study for free. It will require several follow-up visits. You can find the link to sign up for consultation on our website at cron4.com. Unfortunately, because this is television and everybody can see it, we can't show the nipples, but you know, the, the, the whole point of this is that when you're reconstructing a woman's breast after cancer surgery, uh, it's very hard to get a natural looking replacement, right? Um, so there's tattoos and there, there's those kinds of things, but it's not the real thing. And a cadaver nipple is the real thing. And after it's put on there, they say it can grow into the natural breast and retain some of the natural uh, sensations and looks. Yeah, well, it um, makes sense. And yeah. you were saying earlier, you kind of wonder why they didn't think of this sooner, because it does make sense. We do use cadaver parts for other, for other stuff. things. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, more is on, at our website at crown4.com.